Yo, 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 the box creams. So excited to be back into the linears again. Before we get into this, I just want to take a minute and thank everyone who participated in the Mel Geek giveaway and say welcome to all the new subs. Thank you all for your support and I hope to keep bringing you the nuts. All right, I've come to find out it's damn hard to find decent white on black keycaps. They're either custom made with group buys or super expensive. I was looking for some keycaps in preparation for an upcoming candy bar build. Hit that notification bell if you want to see that upcoming video. After some digging, I found these on Amazon for under $25. They are hard to search for being buried beneath gaming keycaps with RGB support. These have added plastic for the legend so they should last a long time. These are pretty good booty for the price. Decent quality gems, I say. And of course, I couldn't help myself. I found these HK gaming caps that come with support for Mac and different sizes and modifiers for under $40. Under $40. Had to get it. I really hope this saves you some time in looking for some decent caps. I'll leave a link in the description so you can get some for yourself. The box creams are marketed as self-lubricating, extra smooth, linear. In short, I am impressed. I don't think I can go back to another linear switch. The sound is subtle, but noticeably pleasant. All switch preferences are subjective, so these are just my thoughts. With that, I'm going to outright say that these are the perfect combination of resistance and mechanics suitable for typing and gaming. There's something about the unique mechanics of this switch that where my typing is decisive and I don't feel like I'm about to mistype without feeling heavy and fatiguing on the fingers. There's no jolt when bottoming out either. I completely forget I'm typing on linears and the closest I can relate this to are MX Browns, which are actually light tactile switches. I've grown tired of tactile switches and kind of went on a buying spree. And boy, I haven't been this excited about linears since the first time I tried linears, which were, by the way, MX Reds. I read a comment from a viewer recently seemingly disappointed in his order for MX Blues. Let me just take you back about 10 years. 10 years ago, brands like Gateron and Kale were, Cali, Kale, whatever, were considered MX knockoffs. Cherry MX had a hold on the market with patents, and I believe at the time, MX Blues really popularized the feeling of mechanical with their unique clicky sleeve. Even gamers preferred them. Once those expired, I think companies became innovative real quick. Now every keyboard company seems to be making their own switches these days. So here you can see two linear switches sporting the Cherry MX mechanical design, but the cream is entirely different. The leaf and contact mechanism is completely housed on its own with a tiny little nub sticking out of the box, and I mean tiny. This is an extra mechanical piece that we don't see in the other two switches. Even the stem is different. We will get to that in a sec. The stem pushes the nub and the nub pushes into the metal contacts. This is not the first time we've seen a unique mechanical feature from Kale. The clicky variation of most Kale switches are all sporting a spring that snaps through the plastic to produce a clicky sound, providing a very clean sound and smoother tactile transition. Opening up the mechanical housing, the nub is tiny, 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 which makes it pretty hard to put back together. There's this little reservoir filled with lube, and this is how the switch lubricates on each down press. The little nub dips into the reservoir, re-lubing itself. Pretty clever, but very hard to put back together. 
Normally, when I lube my switches, I lube the sides of the stem and the spring. In contrast to these other linear switches, the Moavi, Mojave, that came pre-lubed, the stem has lube all around it. But to be direct, I really didn't care or notice. Perhaps it was the extra resistance or the extra mechanical step or both that make this absolutely a superior experience for both typing and gaming. The stem starts off with that box at the top. It, it really is more like a cylinder. This adds extra stability, way less wobble on the keycap, adding to the robust and precise experience. The stem looks larger. I, I wouldn't be surprised if this is to help protect the internals from dust buildup, which would make sense also in having the metal contacts housed in their own separate housing. The spring is a little heavier than MX Reds at 55 Gs. As mentioned, bottoming out is actually satisfying. Not sure if that has something to do with the plastic material being softer or the size of the stem taking up more surface area. This is a switch that manages to insanely excel in typing and gaming. I would even say it puts some of those lighter tactile switches to shame. Especially if you like MX Browns but want to go linear, this might be a switch for you. You'll be typing with conviction. It is one of the most innovative switches I've ever seen and this will become my main fallback switch, replacing my Holy Pandas indefinitely. Leave me a like if you dig this switch, a dislike if you didn't. Consider subscribing and let me know in the comments your first mechanical keyboard switch and what you use today. Peace.